Hey guys, this is MCK here, back with another video, and today is a huge update video. Um, this is going to be my Christmas CD updates along with a FYE trip that I took the last two days, went to two different FYEs. Uh, first one I didn't find any CDs, second one I picked up a couple. So let me show you what I got. Uh, I got the new special edition of Corn Path of Tuality, I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is when they did their thing with Skrillex and Dubstep. I wasn't the biggest fan of this time, but what really made me want this was it had a bonus DVD in it, which is, you can assume from it, it looks like it's going to be a live DVD, which is cool because I already have, I have one from like 2005, so it's going to be cool to see a newer one. I got Foo Fighters Sonic Highway from my boyfriend. Uh, he picked this up for me for Christmas. Here's the back. This album was actually all about... They went to a different state uh, every single song. So they can come up with a new meaning behind it. And to see how different their album was. I haven't had a chance to listen to it. But I'm definitely... This one's probably going to be one of my first listens. This one is... It's actually cool to find. It's an FYE exclusive. As Extreme Rock Volume 1. I don't think they ever made a Volume 2. This came out in 2011. And on the back, you can see it has, you know, Godsmack, Black Tide, uh, Volvi, Children of Bona, uh, Hollywood Undead, Wayne Static, who sadly we lost during this year. Overall, this is really cool. Has a lot of really good rock bands on it. Uh, it was only 99 cents. And even the guy was like, where did you find this? So... And next one, we got this one for Christmas, which is White Chapel. This is Exile. This is definitely one of the bands that are on my list that I need to see live. I don't have many bands that are still on that list, but <laughs> they're on it. Uh, here's actually the track listing. Um, it's a little dark of a cover artwork. But overall, it's uh, I think this is their there's a second CD. Yeah, it should be their second CD. Uh, this one, the only ones that a lot of people know would be Possession. Otherwise, I never even heard any other of these songs. And I've heard a lot of Whitechapel, so. This one I picked up at FYA for Stone Sour. Uh, Stone Sour by Stone Sour. The main uh, track on this one is Brothers. Uh, that was pretty much the hit that got Stone Sour to kind of where Slipknot was, but not like as big. They're more of like a mainstream. Uh, definitely given, going to give this one a good listen. Uh, when I got it, the CD was actually pretty broken down. I'm surprised it played, but it does, so it was always a good thing. This one is, I've listened to Nonpoint a couple times. Not, not like the biggest fan of Nonpoint, but I really wanted to try to give them a chance to see if they're, you know, worth it or not. So I found, uh, Miracles, which is their 2010 release. I know they just had one come out this year. Oh, uh, it's going to thinking about picking that one up, but then I found this one. Uh, it was only like two bucks. So, FYI had a great sale going on, so I I pretty much got all like the cheap albums I could to stack up. And the track listings on the back. I don't know any of the songs. The only song that I listened off this album so far is Miracle, which is pretty good. Um, mainly because it has, which I'll actually say right here, it has, what's the guy's name? Chad Gray's from Mudvayne and Hell Yeah, which I believe that is the singer's name. And I, I'm 9% sure. And actually, I have Hell Yeah on the poster right there. Because I saw him well, uh, Five Finger Death Punch. They're really good. This one kind of shocked me to find. This is actually a tour CD from 2002. The Pledge of Allegiance tour. Live concert recordings. is really cool. Sticker's still on there. I really love when I can find stickers. So I always keep my stickers on there. This is the back. Uh, it has Slipknot. System of a Down, Mud Vein, No One, and American Head and Charge. I've only heard of Slipknot and System of a Down and Mud Vein. Um, it seems cool. It's from 2002. It's when Slipknot really just started getting in, into getting a little bigger and publicly known. So this is it was a shocking pickup, and I am actually real excited to listen to this one. I this CD was also kind of destroyed, but. It played, so. And this is my last one, which is the Pond of Burning Body 
but red, white, green. I've really been trying to find this album. I'm really glad I got it for Christmas. Uh, on the back, it's kind of hard to read it because it's in the Texas uh, state. Um, the ones off this one that a lot of people are going to know is Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Sin City, and Texas Blood Money. Um, I've heard the first eight songs off this album. I haven't listened to the whole thing, which is only 11 tracks, so I probably should. But um, it's really what I've listened to. I did not even know he could do uh, deep vocals and uh, high screen vocals. I only knew that he could do like the middle ones. Because when I saw him live, they didn't even try to do any of those vocals live. So it was kind of shocking for me to listen to it and find that out. But so far what I've listened to it is a really great album. I'm looking forward to listening to the whole thing. And I'll give you a little recap of all I got. Pledge of Allegiance Tour. Upon a Burning Body. Nonpoint. Stone Sour. Whitechapel. Extreme Rock. The Foo Fighters. And Corn. If there's any of these that you want me to review first, or just want me to review in general, please leave a comment below. And I will try to immediately listen to this album as soon as possible and get a review up for you guys. Uh, thank you for all the views and the subscribers. It means a lot I'm trying to get this channel as big as possible. So please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.